I am the teller of stories. Come in. Have a seat. These are two more stories in the Princess Ruby sequence. So, sit back and relax and listen to Princess Ruby and the Magic Book. The girl who was a bully. Princess Ruby was bored again. She had more toys and dolls than any other girl, but she didn't want to play with them. Her friend Jenny, who often played with her, had gone to see her auntie, so Ruby had no one to play with. It's time for the magic book, she said to herself. Ruby went to the magic book, put her finger onto a page, closed her eyes and said, take me there. But nothing happened. Then she realised she had forgotten the most important magic word, please. Ruby closed her eyes again and this time she said, please take me there. When she opened her eyes, she looked around and saw lots of young boys and girls running around and playing. I must be the school playground, she said to herself. Ruby went to join in the fun, but as she did so, a girl who was much, much bigger than her ran up to her and pushed her over. Ruby fell to the ground and banged her knee. Ouch, she said. Why did you do that? The big girl replied, because I wanted to, and ran off laughing. The big girl was obviously a very naughty girl. As she played in the playground, Ruby saw the naughty girl knocking other children to the ground and laughing at them. The naughty girl sometimes pulled the hair of other girls and took some sweets from one of them. Ruby said to herself, that girl is a very naughty girl indeed. When the children sat down for their dinner, Ruby noticed that the naughty girl was sitting by herself looking rather sad. Ruby, who was a very friendly girl, went to sit beside her, even though the naughty girl had bullied her. You look very sad, she said. Why is that? The girl replied, when I first came to this school, everyone was nice and I had lots of friends. But now I have no friends and no one will sit with me. Nobody likes you because you are so horrible to them, knocking them over and pulling their hair, said Ruby. But I'm only fooling around, the girl said. Yes, but when you fool around like that, you lose all your friends. People think of you as a nasty bully and don't like you, replied Ruby. The naughty girl thought about this and said, I think you are right. In future, I'll be much nicer and try to remember that pushing around people is not really funny. She went to the children and told them she was sorry for the way she had behaved and promised to play nicely in the future. After this, the girl, who had been a very naughty girl, played properly with everyone. She never pushed anyone around and became a very nice girl, who was liked by everyone. Princess Ruby realised it was time to go home. She closed her eyes and said the magic words, please take me home. When she opened her eyes, she was back in her room in the castle. Princess Ruby closed the magic book and thought, I wonder where my next adventure will be. Her friend, Jenny, came into the room. I'm back early, so I have come to play, she said. What have you done today? Ruby replied, I learned that you should always try to be kind to everyone, and then you will have plenty of friends. If you are nasty, then you lose all of your friends. The end. 
Story 2 The Medal Princess Ruby was not happy. Her painting, which she thought was the very best, had not won the competition. Oh well, she said, I will see what adventure I can go on today. Ruby opened the magic book, put her finger on the page of adventures, closed her eyes and said the magic words, please take me there. When she opened her eyes, Ruby realised she had been here before. It was a playground where she had met the naughty girl. Ruby looked around and saw the same girl, but this time she was not alone. Because she no longer pushed people around and always tried to be friendly and helpful, she was with lots of friends. Ruby went up to the girl and noticed a medal on a pink ribbon around her neck. Hello again, she said to the girl. What's that medal for? The girl replied, Yesterday was our sports day and I really tried my best but I didn't get a medal. I tried my best in the high jump but I didn't get a medal. I tried my very best in the long jump but I didn't get a medal. I was very disappointed because I really thought I should have got a medal. Ruby said, But you have got a medal. What's that for? The girl replied, at the end of the day, there was a special medal. This was for the one who had tried their very best, but had not won any of the competitions. Although I had not won any of the events I entered, I had tried my very best, so I was awarded the medal. Ruby played with the children until it was time to go home. She said goodbye to everyone, closed her eyes and said the magic words. Please take me home. When she opened her eyes, she was back in her room at the castle. Her mother, the Queen, came into the room. I know you are disappointed that your painting didn't win, she said. It's okay, Mum, Ruby replied. I realise that you can't always win, but that's not important as long as you always try your very best.